Hey, what is up guys? It's Chris, aka Twink Stan, and you already know, I stan all the gays. I was busy thinking about boys. So before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know, I have been working on this parody of Roxanne. It's a gay version for a while now. I finally got to edit it. It is hilarious. So I think I'm going to be uploading it on Saturday, which is the 25th. So that's two days from when I'm uploading this video. So definitely watch out for that. It's hilarious. And I still have the other music video, which is coming uh, early February. So, okay. So as you already know about the title, this video is about why I made an OnlyFans. Literally me. I replied to a comment on one of my old videos saying, yeah, I didn't plan on it. Like I'm never making an OnlyFans. And then also literally me, like weeks later, makes an OnlyFans. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you guys why I wanted to make one. Uh, it's pretty simple. So at first I didn't want to make one because I thought you could only do it and then post nudes on it basically but I wasn't super comfortable with posting nudes um, even though like celebrities post butt pics on Instagram all the time so I might post like one butt pic on my OnlyFans next month though but anyways I'll get to that later so anyways then I realized wait I can just make one and just post like slightly thirstier pics than my Instagram already is and my Instagram is already a thirst trap and it would just be a way basically for people to support me a little bit extra and for people to get basically a little bit more special personalized content while at the same time supporting me because I do have multiple things that I'm trying to upgrade for one my camera a ring light I do want to eventually buy a car and move out so basically I'm just saving up for that and I really do appreciate anyone who actually does subscribe because I know people keep expecting nudes but honestly the only nude I'm probably ever gonna post is like a butt pic at least right now that's what I'm comfortable with so and like the reason that I'm okay with doing a butt pic is because like literally Jeffree Star posted one, Todd Drake. I mean, I would not usually do that, but like just because it's on OnlyFans, like there's not a big difference. Like James Charles, literally his jo his Coachella outfits literally is his bare ass. So like, so basically, yeah, I don't know. I don't really need to justify it or anything, but I just kind of felt like it just in case, like, I don't know. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed and everyone who is okay with that. Yeah, so the things that I post on there is usually shirtless, feet pics if you're into that, armpits, some other kinks. They're like PG-13 that I'm comfortable with. Sometimes people will just send me a message asking if I'm comfortable with it. You know, I'll just answer if I am or not. And yeah, so I also had uh, that music video that... It's a professional music video for a song that I wrote. I mentioned it earlier in the video. It's coming out in early February. So that actually cost a bit of money. So OnlyFans money is going to that as one thing. And I do have more music videos planned that I want to make and I do want them to be professional. So that's going to take a little bit of a budget. So basically this were all the factors that went into me deciding to actually finally make an OnlyFans even after I said I didn't really want to. Yeah, and like, I'm not gonna lie, like, low key, like, some of the pics and videos on there are like pretty thirsty. Like, they're on the verge of like being a nude, but like, they're not. So, like, yeah, so basically, that's pretty much why I decided to make an OnlyFans. Just get some extra side income to save up to upgrade my things and to basically help myself become a better content creator in the process so that I can just make better content in the future. So I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed already. Uh, I'm sorry if you were disappointed that you didn't get to see my nudes, but I'm just not really comfortable putting that out there. Maybe sometime in the future, maybe I'll be like Trisha Paytas. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave a link in the bio if anyone wants to go subscribe. If not, that's all good. You can, I really, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you just want to subscribe to me on YouTube, leave a like on this video, help me get recommended. Hit me with a follow on Instagram, maybe on TikTok. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you so much. I'm looking forward, 2020 is, I can feel like it's gonna be so good. Like 
I just have so many ideas for videos, like music videos, comedy, so many things that I can't wait to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.